Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris at Hodgepox in Birmingham, and today we're going to show the viewer a video about our NFT LTE system grow. And basically, I'm really excited because this is the meat and potatoes video, if you will, of our entire process. Uh, here we're going to show you the nutrient solution you're going to be using for the next four to six weeks or until your plants are ready and tell you at what rate you need to mix it up and how often you need to change your reservoir. But first, I kind of like to recap. Uh, if you guys remember for the first two weeks of the process here, we used a product called Rapid Start. And I'm just going to show you the root development we got with the product. So as you can see, these roots here are very healthy, very long. They've reached the pipe now. They're doing the process of the NFT gardening system. I'm very pleased with this result. And uh, it's a great product. But while I'm down here, let me show you what we're going to be using in the reservoir. We're going to be using Big Row by Fox Farm. Make sure you get the hydroponic formalization. Uh, it's a 326 opposed to a 644 that they have in their regular Big Row. And that's very important. Uh, just make sure you don't mix that up or you're going to double that nitrogen and you could definitely burn your plants up. But with this solution here, we're going to be using a half a teaspoon per gallon in our reservoir. Or, well, let's see, half a teaspoon. That would be 2.5 milliliters uh, if you don't have anything that measures teaspoons. But let me go ahead and measure that out. That's going to be three teaspoons for six gallons. That's what's in our res, or 15 milliliters for six gallons. Whatever's easier on you. 15. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the reservoir real quick. And one thing I'm going to come back is I'm going to talk about pH. So I'm going to let this go ahead and uh, circulate through the system. It's very important when you mix your nutrient solution to let it circulate fully for at least 10 to 15 minutes. That way you can get an accurate pH measurement. So I'm going to come back. We're going to adjust the pH. And I'll be back in a second. All right, guys. So I've allowed this to go ahead and rotate through the system for around 15, 20 minutes. And that may be a little bit overkill, but I just kind of want to make sure all my nutrient solution is mixed in here. And also, I'm using rainwater, so I know this is going to be very acidic to begin with. So I just want to see what the nutrient solution is going to do and try to get my pH as close to 6 as I can. So let's go ahead and do an initial test. If you guys have never used the droppers by General Hydroponics, uh, basically all you do is fill this up halfway, take your pH tester and add three drops. I'm going to put my lid on here, shake it up, and then match the color. So yeah, it's probably hard to see on the camera there, but we're really around a, about a 6.5. So I'm going to go ahead and put some down in here and, and bring it down a couple of points. I want to get as close to a 6, that yellow, as I can. So I'm going to add some down in here, and I'll be right back and show you guys our results. All right, guys, so I've adjusted my pH accordingly and got it to around 5.8, 6.0, as far as I can tell by matching it with my color on my scale here and I'll show you that in just a second but what I want to show you guys what I did is I added General Hydroponics pH down and with this they sell in a kit which comes with the down it comes with the up and also it comes with the pH tester we've been using which is just the, the vial here and then your solution that actually tells you what the pH is so let's go ahead and test this one more time Need to fill this about halfway up. Three drops of your solution. And then match the color. So I'm going to put the lid on here, shake it up. And as you guys can see, I hope, it's right around, I would say, 5, 8, 6, 0. Oh. color matches we're in good shape so we're just going to continue to let this run and guys we'll come back to you with a video on actually harvesting this lettuce short this lettuce shortly so thank you very much